Hi, I'm Chris Softhouse, and in this post we're going to look at geotagging. So what I've got right now is a load script with just postcodes, latitude and longitude fields. And I'm just going to load this in. Now, geotagging is the process of tagging the relevant fields with geo metadata, telling them that they relate to one another. So in this case, we've got postcodes, which relates to a latitude and longitude point. If I create a map without doing any geotagging, you can see how cumbersome it can be for your end users. So I'm going to drag in my map and then I'm going to drag in my postcode. And it's the postcode that I want to use as the label for each of these geo points. So this is going to be a point. And what you'll notice is now that I've added my postcode field, no points are currently represented on the map. That's because there's no latitude longitude defined. So I'm going to actually have to manually populate the latitude and longitude field. Now this is fine for a technical person or someone that knows the process of doing this. But for those that aren't technical, they're going to have to go in and um, try to figure this out themselves. So what I recommend doing, and what I des describe as best practice, is creating a geo point with your latitude and longitude and then tagging them so they relate to one another. So in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a geo make, func make point function. And I'm going to pass in the latitude longitude field. And I'm just going to call this geo point for now. Make sure it's spelled correctly. And then I'm going to start tagging my fields. So in this case, the postcode is the name of the point, it's the label. And the geo point is the actual geo point field. So it's got the geometry data in there. So I'm going to say tag postcode with, and we're going to pass it in some tags now. So the tag I'm going to pass in is geo name, to say it's a geo name. And then I'm going to tell it what field it relates to. So in this case, it relates to our geo point field. So I'm going to say relates underscore the underscore kind of acts as a, a two. So it relates to, and then we'll pass in the name. And again, it's best practice or a lot easier if you don't use spaces within your field names for the tagging uh, purpose. And then I'm going to add a secondary tag to tell the geometry field that it relates to the postcode field. So in this case, we'll do tag geo point with dollar sign geo point. So again, this is the type of field it is. So in this case, it's a geo point. If it was a polygon, you'll tag it with geo polygon. And we'll say relates to the postcode field. So now I'm going to hit load data and then we'll start creating our map, but this time we'll just use the postcode field. So if I nip over to the fields list, you can see that postcode now has the world map icon. Uh, that represents it's a geometry field. And I'm just going to go in here, add a new map. And this time we'll specify our layer, add the point and specify postcode. And instantly you can see that the postcodes are now added in. I haven't had to specify the location field. It's done it automatically using the geo point, using the tags. So that's geotagging and I'll show you more next time.